Ron Atchison for AutoForge.net, and I've got my good friend Ivan LaCroix in the shop today. And Ivan is going to go through the new DIY 25 millimeter, yes, I said 25 millimeter random orbital polisher. So, Ivan, take it away. Yeah, so thanks for having me, Ron. Yeah. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And, you know, ask this guy a question. But sure. I'll be answering as well. But the 25 millimeter polisher, a little different in the industry. You know, and normally people are stopping at seven or 21 millimeters. Right. We went to 25. The reason for going to 25 is we always teach to cut with your dual action machine. So a wool pad on the dual action is going to give you a phenomenal cut. But the sh longer the stroke, the better the cut. Okay. And 25 was a nice balance between, you know, we could have gone to 30 millimeters if we wanted to. But then we're getting into a territory where it's hard on the bearings, it's hard on the machine, and it can induce a bit of vibration if your pad isn't properly balanced. Okay. But with the uh, 25 millimeter stroke, the balance is good. You can use just about any pad on it. It's going to work. And we have enough aggressivity to give a nice cut, but also not too aggressive that you're not going to have a nice finish. All right. So you can get it extraordinary cut with this machine but yes. but it will also finish too. oh yes you can also finish okay. down as well all right a uh, few things we'll start with the cord we have a 30 foot rubber cord it's not a stiff vinyl cord right it's a nice actual rubber cord has the little velcro piece on it as well so because right. i don't like people wrapping the cords around no, the machines they, they end up breaking here and yep. then yeah uh the switch nice and large very big switch and the switch lock is very easy to get to. It's not sunk in a hole where it's hard to get at, okay. so it's very intuitive to use it. All right. The trigger lock. And then we have the brushes. They're externally accessible. Take this little plaque off here, two screws, and you have access and to your brushes. Screw on each side. Yep. And then the cover just slides right off. Slides down, easy to get to. The motor inside of it, the fan is designed to really push a lot of air through. Okay. And that means if you're using it at low speed, low right. speed on a machine generally tends to overheat them. Well, it pulls, that's when it's pulling the most amp, so it's right. going to get things hot. Yeah, it's pulling the amperage, but you don't have the airflow. We've designed the fan to have the maximum airflow possible, even at low speed. All right, nice. The uh, backing plate, we're showing it now with a six inch, but it also comes with a five inch. So it comes with both. You can choose, it's up to you. It's a free spinning machine, making pad cleaning easier and less chance of stalling. The other thing we have with our backing plate is we always want to keep the pads cool when we're working. So I was we, gonna say, this, this backing plate looks like it's had some engineering going on with it. It uh, yes. doesn't look like your typical backing plate. No, it's not just a solid piece of plastic. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that we have is there's holes along the edge and they're connected to these slots cross drilling like your brake rotors. Sure. Same idea. Basically it's expelling the heat from the pad. The end, the, the motor cooling comes out through the bottom, also helps cool the, uh, the whole system here. And other than that, we have comfortable rubber grips, All right. easy to hold on to, nice balance to the machine. Um, you know, just generally speaking, it's a, a well-engineered machine. Yeah, it's not very heavy really. No. Do you know what, what is the weight on this machine? That's an excellent question, Ron. I haven't weighed it yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, but no, it's it's, it's lightweight. It's yeah, comfortable. Yeah, as you can see, I'm, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not a very heavy machine. No, and with the capacity of having a five inch or six inch backing plate, it makes it easier for the the user. They don't have to go out and buy different pads if they if they're all set up with six inch pads, sure. we're good to go. If they're all set up with five, we're still good to go. All right. So if you'd like to get yourself one of these. We're going to have them on pre-order on autoforge.net. Hope you found the video informative. Ivan, thanks for coming in today. Thank you, Ron. It's Ron Atchison for autoforge.net. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, questions down below.